come to not being tired and able to sleep. So let's talk about random topic of the day. Beanie babies. Hi, beanie babies. Yes, so um what I wanna know is who um did you have Beanie Babies when you were younger? Did you collect Beanie Babies or maybe sell, did you sell them off or did you trade them? Um, if you sold them, how much money did you get on some of them? Or, or are you not the type of person to want to sell your Beanie Babies because they don't make them really anymore and you just want to keep them for generations to come, for your children to play with or whatnot? Um, if you're like me, I'm the type who wants to keep them. Um, I don't think I could ever sell my Beanie Babies. But that's just me. Um, other people have different opinions. So I'm going to show you all the different Beanie Babies that I have collected over the years. I have a lot of bears. Um, I think I have like a total of six bears. I have um, two cat, three cats. They were my next favorite other than the bears. I have... A couple dogs. Um, I have a leopard, a couple birds, um, and then I have a seahorse. So yeah, so I will go ahead and show you what the Beanie Babies I have. I will start with the first one. This one is Fortune. So Fortune is a panda bear, and as you can see, this is a really poor example of how to keep a Beanie Baby in good condition. Um, you can see he's all dirty and there is no tag on the panda at all. Um, so I cannot sell him. Um, I would not get any money because there's no tag on it and because he's dirty. Um, but I wouldn't sell my Beanie Babies um, at all. The next Beanie Baby that I will show you is this purple bear. This purple bear is named after Princess Di. Um, it's called Princess. Um, this one is probably worth some good money. Although my tag is a little, well, not really, it's a little bit bent. But I think I could get some pretty good money off her. Um, so she's another one. And then another bear that I have is this black bear called The End. Um, and it says The End on it. I'm not sure why it's called The End. Maybe they they brought it out of like Y2K or when they thought the world was ending or maybe it was just one of the last um, Beanie Baby Bears um, to be named. Um, if you know why it was named at the end, let me know so I can get my facts straight because I don't know. I was too lazy to Google it. Um, so that is the end. Um, then I have Pecan, the brown bear. Um, it's a nice little bear. He's, yeah, pecan. And then I also have Fuzz. Fuzz is a fuzzy, soft, little cuddly bear who is really, really nice to, to pet because he's soft. And I could cuddle him and sleep with him. And then one of the beanie bears that I have is actually in a closed case. I don't know why I only have one case for all the beanie babies I have, um, but I do. And that is for Halo. Um, she's, she's in a case, so I could probably get a lot of money out of her just because, um, of the fact that she's been in a case for so long. Probably several years, ten years, maybe. Um, Maybe not that quite quite that many, but that's Halo. Um, I also have a hedgehog named. Can you guess what? Can you can you can you guess what the name of it is? Prickles. Original name, huh? <laughs> but that is my hedgehog. And then I have. I have a couple birds. Um, the first bird is Cuckoo. He's a cuckoo bird. Um, I guess that's what it's called. He's got pink fuzzy hair. Um, second bird I have is Mac. Mac is Mac is a cardinal, and Mac is the only 
the only bird, the only beanie that I have that has an actual cover for the for the beanie. I don't know why he has one. Maybe it came with it when I got it. Um, cause some of them, I got them at the garage sales when I was younger. Um, I don't know why people would sell their beanies because, like I said, I wouldn't. Um, but that's Mac. Those are my birds. Then I have my cats. My cats are my second favorite out of um, the bears. Um, the first cat that I will show you that I have is, wait for it, Prance. Prance was um, probably my first Beanie Baby that I ever got. And Prance, as you can see, has no tag. Um, so I wouldn't be able to sell them again. But not that that's going to happen. Right, Prance? Right. Um, but when I was younger, we had moved from Illinois to New York and I, I got home, we got to our new home and like unpacked everything and I was freaking out because I could not find Prance. Um, like I said, she's my all time favorite, uh, beanie. Um, I had even gone to write my, my best friend, um, because they had moved into the house that we lived in before we moved, asking her if Prance was there. She couldn't find her, but thankfully, thankfully I have Prance. My next cat is Snip. Snip is a white and brown cat. I don't really care about Snip very much, um, but she's just pretty. And then I also have Pounce. Pounce the cat. Pounce, 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 pounce. Pounce likes to pounce, as you can see. Pounce it. Pouncing. He's not very good at it yet, but I think he'll get better over time. Um, then I have Freckles. Can you guess what Freckles is? He's a leopard. Very original name, huh? Yeah. Hi, Freckles. Hi. And again, no tag. Because these were my first Beanie Babies, and I didn't know that, um... I was supposed to keep the tags on at that point, so some of the tags are off. And then I have a couple dogs. The first dog being uh, Muddy. Muddy is a nice chocolate brown furry fuzzy dog. He's very pretty to look at. He's got a nice tag. Um, then I have Spunky. Spunky's an older dog, um, probably along with Prance, one of the first beanies that I got, but. Thankfully, his tag is still on and looks like it's in pretty decent condition, although there's a few bends in it. Then I have my last one, but not least, is the seahorse Neon. Isn't he pretty? He's all rainbowy and shiny, and I know there are other like collectibles like Neon, but I only have this one. Um, so that's my tale on beanies and what all I have. So if you, if you want to comment or tell me what you have, that'd be fun. Because I want to know if there are others out there that have kept their beanie babies for so long like I have. Um, so yeah, just let me know. And I guess I will see you all next time. Um, night.